Miss Bobby Ghosh. Bobby, thank you so much for being here. What do you make of Biden's approach to COVID aid? Is it enough? Uh, no, 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 Shanali, it's not enough. It's not nearly enough. Biden, the Biden administration now seems to be talking mostly about getting, uh, uh, donating or sending vaccines from the U.S., from the developing, developed world to the developing world. But the, the main discussion about getting the whole world vaccinated is actually taking place in Geneva at the World Trade Organization, where the big question is whether or not uh, the developing countries will be able to secure a IP waiver, an intellectual property waiver, whether the West um, and the United States uh, will allow a, a change in rule, temporary perhaps, that will allow countries and companies to start making enough viruses to vac I beg your pardon, enough vaccinations to protect their populations. It can't really be about sending vaccines from Europe and from the United States. It's about the old cliche, teaching uh, a man how to fish, allowing those countries, allowing India, allowing South Africa, allowing all these developing countries to make more vaccines themselves using the intellectual property that was developed in the West. And Bobby, what are we hearing from uh, these countries, the EU, uh, the UK, uh, the US, um, about these IP protections and um, allowing these countries to have these, uh, this, th the formulas? Well, the EU is against it. The EU is against a waiver. The argument is, is a familiar one. They say that if you allow these waivers, first of all, it, 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 it runs against the whole principle of IP, uh, that it, is, it runs against the notion of innovation. And also, this is a very important argument, they say that if you allow the IP to be distributed widely, it will lead to misuse. You will have fake counterfeit vaccines, which can be very dangerous, uh, being injected into people's arms around the world. So that's the argument against. The United States actually is an interesting situation. About three months ago, the Biden administration came out in favor of a waiver. Catherine Tai, the, the, the U.S. trade representative, came out with a statement saying that the U Biden administration would be in favor of a waiver, and there was an immediate response worldwide. People were very excited about it. Moderna and, and Pfizer shares fell. But since then, silence. The White House hasn't said very much on the subject of waivers. And this discussion that's taking place at the WTO, the United States is taking a back seat. The United States is not leading the conversation. So, Bobby, what do you think should happen from here? Should the U.S. be stepping up, playing a bigger role? Should they be making these protections uh, waived for more of the world? Well, I think first and foremost, what you need from the White House is clarity. Is it in favor of the waiver or is it not? If it is in favor, as it said three months ago, then it should really be leading the conversation. This is the most important conversation about the most important challenge the world faces today. And the United States cannot, should not be taking a back seat in those discussions. It should be leading those discussions. If it is opposed to the waiver, if it has changed its mind, it should stand up and say so and then allow the conversation to go to the next level and figure out, OK, if the world is not going to get these waivers, how then should should more vaccines be delivered to all these countries? Right. And Bobby, I mean, this statistic is really staggering to me. 75% of vaccines have been administered in just 10 countries and only 1% of people in low-income countries. As Shanali said at the beginning, this pandemic is not going to end until uh, these countries get vaccinated. That's absolutely right. Here in this country, in the U.S. and in, in the developing countries, we are talking about booster shots. Most of the world hasn't even got a single shot or has had one shot. And, and that's an imbalance that's not just a moral question, although it is a big moral question. It's also a, a practical question. Question. As Shanali said at the top, if the whole world is not cured, then nobody is really cured. And, and the economy of, of our country, of all the developing countries, depends on the rest of the world being healthy and being back to full consumption behavior so that all economies can rise as a result. Bobby, I'm curious as to what you think the role and the responsibility of the drug companies are in this conversation. Well, the drug companies uh, have a profit motive. They are listed companies. They, they are answerable to shareholders. They're doing, they're, they're trying to balance uh, questions of, of moral responsibility, pressures from uh, activists with the pressures of being listed companies that have bottom lines and have shareholders to answer to. So they're offering vaccines uh, at, at cost. They're offering vaccines uh, at very low prices. Uh, they're offering to manufacture the va distribute the manufacturing of the vaccines. What they're not offering, what they cannot offer without some pressure from the major governments, 
they're not offering uh, to share the IP. Bobby, if we do not get a decision from the WTO before they depart for their August recess, um, uh, what happens? Well, we lose an enormous amount of time. It's a six-week recess. The WTO does not gather again until the middle of September. I can't begin to think of how many lives will be destroyed between now and then. Um, and then the discussions will start not from where they ended, but I think there will be a, a period where the discussions have to come back up to speed. We're losing a lot of valuable time in a, in a moment when we don't have time to waste. Bloomberg's Bobby Ghosh, thank you so much for your time. Anita. Now coming up, we're looking at the COVAX program and how richer countries are helping poorer nations before their domestic demands are fully met. We'll be back in two minutes. This is Quick Take.